07 Citizens Black here from Castle Black Gaming, and today I wanted to offer up a tip that I saw on Reddit from user Curse the Dawn, whose YouTube channel link I posted down below. Now, this tip for helping to take out those pesky little NPCs that can be hard to hit from your ship above is pretty ingenious and kind of like a duh moment, so I will get to that in just a moment. But first, if you like my content and have come back more than once now, if you could like, subscribe, and comment, it would be greatly appreciated. I also have a Discord where me and others are there to answer questions for new players or to just sit around chatting about our favorite ships or just some of the foolishness that goes on in Star Citizen. So that link is also below. Anyway, let's get to this cool tip. So when heading out to derelict outposts, which you will most often do on delivery missions and some search or investigative missions, you will encounter ground NPCs. How you decide to take these enemies on can vary, and I cover some different ideas in my delivery missions guide video, which I'll link at the end of this one, where I go into great detail on which delivery missions can earn you the most money, and also how to tackle them. But this little tip here is something that anyone with any ship can do, and that is to arm your ship with scatter guns. Now if you've watched my vehicle loadout videos, I never recommend scatter guns on any build because in ship to ship combat, they are not the most effective right now. now this is something to keep in mind for this tip here as well, and why you might want to possibly use a ship that has more than just two guns to fire, because if all you have armed are scatter guns and you get interdicted in space or have to fight the cutlass at the derelict sites, you will have a harder time. The Aurora allows you to have four guns, so you could have two laser repeaters and two scatter guns even though they fire at different speeds which is normally not recommended. You would be better off doing that for this tip but again this choice is yours and if you feel like you can maneuver fast you could make it something like a Pisces which has fast speed and great maneuverability. Now if you plan on doing bounties I would stay away from the scattergun only build unless you're just a really great pilot and enjoy that challenge. Alright so anyway the idea is simple. A scattergun is basically a ship shotgun and so killing those ground NPCs is much easier easier than using a laser repeater or gatling with that single line of fire. The reddit user mentioned using ballistic scatter guns so they could take the NPCs out in one shot, but I use laser scatter guns where you don't have to worry about ammo and found they worked equally as well but maybe not one shot. You can pick up size 1 and size 2 laser scatter guns on Hurston at their HD showcase in the business district, which is their dominance line of weapons, dominance 1, dominance 2, etc. That is the only place that sells laser laser scatter guns that small. Now for size 3 or better, you can either go with dominance or you can find them in other locations such as picking up the pyro burst size 3 which you can find on area 18, crew L5, and her L5 to name a few places and should have no problem finding sizes larger. But honestly you probably will not be doing these derelicts in a ship larger than that as at that point you would not be able to move around such a large ship around the outpost with ease so this works best for those small smaller ships. Of course, if you have laser repeaters that are on gimbals, you can also just set your gimbals to aim better by holding G and switching it to lock. Now this does not work as well as the scatter guns, but does work better than just trying to blindly aim on your own at those tiny targets. And remember that the NPCs are getting better about moving in future updates, so they're not always just going to stand there and let you blow them away. Anyway, I just wanted to share this neat little set of tips to help those at Derelict Outposts have an easier time of shooting down those tiny targets. Plus, it's quite satisfying to shoot those NPCs with a spread of red, and a second hit should keep them down. Just make sure their bodies don't get kicked up by your thrusters. I've seen some of those bodies go flying for several meters, and it's kind of funny. Now, as always, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. Shoot those NPCs until you hear their death rattle, and stay positive, citizens. Yes.